Now, the man who's learning to say Wausau, Michael Feldman. We're in the Grand Theater, beautiful renovation here in the heart of downtown Wausau and the part of the arts block, which I guess is this whole block. Would it be the arts block? Is that what the <laughs> block is? It's not a mental block, is it? It's a and the building physical block it. and the building attached to it. So a whole new uh, arts culture going on here in Wausau, along with the, the uh, bird uh, uh, museum, very famous. That's uh, right. The Yawkey, collection, yeah. the Lee Yawkey Woodson Museum. Bird art, which is not art done by birds. I was a little disappointed. <laughs> to discover that, but it is art of birds, mm -hmm. mostly, for the most part. But it's still nice. And lots of, plus, it's the only town, probably, that has a kayak course downtown. I think that's, that's a right. nice... Other World cities is probably... Yeah. That's kind of a good idea, having a kayak thing downtown. And we've got Fat Function here joining us in the first hour. If you're just joining us right now, then you probably haven't heard them yet, and you will. And uh, you can't help but hear them. We're not even using microphones on this band, actually. It's, it's just that kind of band. We got, are you guys, uh, who's, is there a spokesperson or a, uh, you are? Are you guys like all marching band refugees or something or what is the story? Michael. You, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys who went over the top and marching band and then just kept going, kept marching and left the stadium. Were you? Just, just one marching band person? Oh, I'm amazed, really. Who, whose band did you march in? UW. UW marching band? Still remember some of those moves? Can you, can you just show us, show us one of your best marching band moves, though, if you could, just a second. Yeah. It is radio, so it can't be. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Here, you still got the form. Yeah, yeah, it's the only spot you got. All right, this is it. From the side. <laughs> yes. I like that. That works for me. Sorry you weren't here. It would have worked for you, too. And they are called the uh, fat function with the pH. We should mention that's uh, that means uh, something good, doesn't it? It means hot and desirable. Of course. Hot and desirable. Okay. Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be hot and desirable? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're okay, really, you know. But uh, you, you want to mention everybody's name here? There's about 20 people oh, in this band. Yeah, but, you know, can you do that? Drums, yeah. Mr. Sheldon Allen. Sheldon, how are you doing? Sounding good. On the percussion, Polly Ryan. Polly, I know Polly. Are you kidding me? Everybody knows Polly. On the baritone and alto saxophone from Wausau, Wisconsin, Dan Wallach. All right, I knew we had one. See, out of six guys, one's from Wausau. On the trumpet, John Shippard. Yeah. On the trombone, we refer to her as the first lady of Fat Function, Miss Courtney Larson. Yeah, Courtney. <laughs> On the tenor saxophone and vocals, Al Falashi. Wow. On guitar and vocals, Vince Jesse. On bass guitar, Jason Brotz. And on the keyboards and vocals here, my name's Tim Whalen. That would be you. Function. All right. So I know we had one guy from Wausau, Sandra. Did you go, where'd you go to school? Wausau East. Wausau East, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Are you convinced now? What's this number going to be? This is the first song off of our new CD that just came out. This is called Untitled. And we would like to mention the we website, yeah. www.fatfunction.com. There's no web address though, either. What's that? No, nothing. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and the CD is for sale in the back. All right. That covers everything, I think. I Fat Function. back on now. <laughs>
function. All right. You can go now. You can go now. That's it. We only got time for two. I know you guys want to play the entire show, but you got to go back to Madison. You got a gig tonight. They're playing Madison Luther's. Yep. If you're in the area, so yeah. Put me on the list, will you? Because I don't want to pay it again. <laughs> Paulie's in every band I've ever known, by the way. You know, Paulie back here. <laughs> Say hello to Paulie. Doesn't he look like every guy you know has been in every band you've ever known? That's Paulie. <laughs> Get him off stage. We have, uh, as you may have noticed here, uh, you probably can't see it on the radio at home, but we have some uh, animals that are not real on stage. Can you tell which of us that would be? Uh, this deer here, which is turning its head and spinning its tail and, and is, 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 is making rutting sounds around Jim, actually trying to uh, move yeah. its antlers up and down his leg. I don't know what that means. That's not real. And this fox in front of me that makes these noises here and is actually, I think, no, I thought for a minute that he was actually urinating or something like that. <laughs> but I don't think so. These are, not, these are robots. Uh, and they're used as decoys and to catch poachers and that sort of thing. We have the gentleman who invented these and makes them. Brian Wolzlegel, ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now on stage here at the Grand Theater. Rather amazing device. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. You're from, are you from Mosinee? Is that where you're from? Uh, actually from Wausau, then moved you are? to Mosinee. Moved so. to Mosinee, yeah. yeah. So when you were you a kid, you were a remote control kid, I suppose, with all these electronic things. <laughs> Not really, actually. No? Did a little bit, but uh, got into it later in life. So. Yeah. And it, uh, how did you get the idea for making these? Uh, I, I would call them animatronic, but that's not really the word. They're robotic. Robotic animals. Yeah. Um, I actually went to work for a taxidermist friend of mine, and uh, we started uh, putting them together for the DNR. And, uh, so these, the idea was here to put up a, a deer that looks so real that guys would shoot it, shoot at it out of season. Out of season, and, at night, with lights, yeah. whatever. Did a guy ever shoot, shoot one, haul it, disembowel it, and carry it home on, <laughs> on no, a spender? No, I've heard uh, many stories of uh, people actually running them over at their car afterwards and things like that, and trying yeah. to run them down. But yeah. But they do work. I mean, don't you feel kind of bad when someone shoots one of your uh, robots? Not really, no. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so the DNR like, commissioned this thing. How did, what business were you in? Like, you were in the taxidermy business. They didn't. Um, well, like I said, I worked for a taxidermist. Yeah. And I, him and I started uh, doing the decoys. Uh, he was doing like a rigid mount without any robotics, and uh, it progressed and progressed. And the rigid I, mount, as they used to be known. Like, yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't used to move, is what you're saying. Right. So then uh, in 95, I bought the business from him, and uh, we've taken it, and now we do everything from a pheasant or a grouse up to a moose. Yeah, you didn't come up with that singing bass, did you? Was that no, your no, idea? No, no, <laughs> no. I wish I did. You know, yeah, that, that guy makes been. a heck of a lot more money than I do. I'll tell I you know. that. If these guys could only sing or something, yeah. I think you'd really have something going here. And the fox is used in the same way? The fo yeah, well, the fox is actually running off of a computer program, so we just plug that thing into a wall. It's going. Uh, the deer, I'll let you have that. The deer runs off of a, uh, a remote control. So oh, the cool. one tails his tail, and the other does his head. He's shaking his head now. So Are you enjoying uh, the show? Are you, no? Exactly. Would you rather be uh, somewhere else? Oh, you'd like being here. <laughs> he can't nod, though. He can only shake his head no. Exactly. Is that authentic? Oh, uh, yeah, we have uh, one that stomps his front leg now. Yeah. We have, uh, Jim, he likes you. Look at yeah, yeah. Look at it, Jim. Look at him. No, he's no. Oh, well, look, his tail is wagging, Jim. Oh. He's looking at you, honey. <laughs> it's that time of year, babe. Must be my son. Sure is. Yeah. But, yeah, we do, cool. you know, we do them. Uh, we start out, like I said, strictly for the DNR, and then we've moved into hunting decoys now. People have been using them as hunting decoys. Like you said, it's that time of the year. Uh, yeah. They put the, a buck like that or take the antlers off and make it a doe, and it attracts other uh, bucks to the So there are guys now going out there setting up robot deer in the woods. Oh, yeah. Uh, and controlling it from their stand or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and this attract this other hunters would shoot their, their uh, robot, though, wouldn't no, they? I mean, isn't no, that the no, idea? No. They use them only during bow season archery oh. season. Um, you wouldn't want to use, be carrying that thing in on your shoulders during gun season. Though. No, yeah. I wouldn't. <laughs> Especially here in the Northwoods, you well, know, you don't want to... I mean, how heavy are they? Are they hollow inside? No, they're they about stuff? 21 pounds, yeah. They're, well, you could do it's that. a styrofoam body. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And, and if this wasting disease gets any worse, this could actually replace the herd. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. So, you know, this, what's, what's the name of your business? Uh, Custom Robotic Wildlife. Custom Robotic Wildlife. Any interest uh, from other, other reasons for uh, movies or for... 
we've done some, we've shipped some stuff to uh, different things. We've done some commercials. Um, there's a new NFL commercial out that has that actually a deer that looks similar to that in it. Um, we do a lot of stuff. We're doing a big display for the Cedar Creek Mall this year, their Christmas display. I'll have yeah. six or eight animals all moving. So that's becoming a new business that we're really trying to get into. So you'll end up in Hollywood probably with Hopefully, this. Hopefully, yeah. Sounds so, pretty cool. Brian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brian Wells, like ladies and gentlemen, who is behind the robotic animals. If you see them, you know Brian is behind them with the remote. Thanks. For me? Nice to have you. All right, thank you. Brian Wells, like And the buck can be a doe, Jim. It can be. That's right. If you, you know, want to make the adjustment there, I think they come off. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you work on that. You're not doing much now. Just... And we got this big Harley here. I'm not sure. Is, are these Harleys, they're not made around here, are they? they I believe are so. they? Some of the parts are. Those parts are made here for this? Uh... They're made in Tomahawk. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a nice bike there. And we're giving this away. <laughs> Well, all right, you have to steal it. We can't really, we don't have it, we don't own it or anything, so you actually have to, well, that's a beautiful bike there. Are you going to write that? No, I don't think so. They never, they put the keys in there, but they took the spark plugs out. No, actually, they didn't. They didn't? I don't think so. Well, you want to kick her up? No, I don't. <laughs> that's, that's your size. You can handle that. Yeah. But, you know, I'm more of a, you know, Vespa. <laughs> and uh, you guys got a little tune here you want to play? And we'll go back sure. in the audience in a minute. What's this song going to be, John? Autumn Leaves. Autumn leaves, how apropos, now that they're all down. <laughs> <laughs> 